Everyone has a studio outfit, right? This is, this is mine. <laughs> I usually wear these uh, torn up studio pants that have holes all over them and sometimes I forget to take them off and change into your regular outfit and I go out in the public and I feel really embarrassed. back to The Last Pigment. My name is Zandali, and if you have not run across this channel before, we do a lot of watercolor DIY and some other videos like today. Today, I'm gonna be taking you along with me to some of my favorite places. Basically, one that gives me inspiration when I wanna paint plants. And why am I doing this? I'm doing this because this last week has been crazy. I found out that basically all of my income is about to dry up in the next week. And I've been struggling to get inspired to do something creative because as you know, when you are an artist, it is very hard to maintain deal with a lot of like the left brain activities. Try to maintain creative flow when you don't know how your bills are gonna pay, get paid. So basically, I've been under a lot of stress for the last two weeks. The other day, I decided um, to relaunch my Etsy shop, and I thought, what would I get inspired about creating? And what do I want to draw? And so I started doing some butterflies. You're gonna see us go to Rogers Gardens, and then at Rogers Gardens, there is some inspiration for a monarch garden. And then we're gonna do a little bit of art at the end. So please stick around to the end. See ya. Think about us, I think about us calling I think about us, I think about us falling Through the dark night and through time Towards the light when you'll be mine I think about us, I know the dawn is for us I dream about us, I dream about the start of chocolate cake yesterday and I was a little mad mm -hmm. it's all better I've totally forgotten a few butterflies for my Etsy shop 
I'm going to actually be relaunching my shop for the first time in, gosh, a year or two. It just takes a really long time. I don't know if you've ever been involved in an Etsy shop, it's kind of ridiculous just how much time it takes to create products and do the pricing and the admin part of the job. I think a lot of people don't know just how hard it is and I'm sure if you're watching my channel you probably know something about that. Not gonna lie, it's a lot. And I have been working full-time freelance for five years. So I really don't have a lot of time to work on a shop to get one up and running. But I would love to do that. I'm actually really excited about all the new opportunity I have. My clients have decided to scale back just because of COVID and everything going on. So I am going to be stocking my shop with some really fun original artwork. I actually decided instead of prints, I'm going to do real work and sell originals. So yeah, let me know if that's something you want to see, if you want to see the process for stocking the shop and preparing the products and packaging. I would love to share that. It's really fun. I had my mug shop for um, about a year before I closed it down. My dad passed away and I was going to college. I was finishing up my last year of grad school and I just could not, between working full time and, and finishing my last semester of grad school, I, there was just no way I could keep up with the orders and the work involved in making the mugs because I was hand sublimating them myself. I wasn't sending them out to someone to make them. So it was an excessive amount of work for that shop and, and everything else involved in it was really difficult. I don't miss the mug shop. I miss the process of having a handmade business because it was so much fun. I can't emphasize how much fun a handmade business is. On Monday, I got the word that my five-year contract is being terminated. Um, I can't say with which client or anything about it really, but I did want to comment that that was extremely stressful news <laughs> and another reason I'm creating the butterfly shop. I don't know if I should add color. What do you think? I love the black and white. Maybe the color would add a little something to it. Let me know what you think down below. Since I realized that the industry was just beating me up, <laughs> graphic design has been a really actually rough experience for me. Um, I've worked in production for about oh, five years and in corporate marketing for even longer. I've worked in graphic design for about 15 years. And I went back to school for teaching art because I feel like that is the future for me. It is definitely the long-term future and I love doing creative work and working with my hands. So I'm really hoping that everyone likes what I put in the shop and they enjoy all of the artwork that I'm going to put out there. Because I definitely, definitely need the support, that's for sure.
video, please like and subscribe if you didn't already. It helps me out. And I would love your uh, comments down below. Please let me know. I'm in kind of a funk, but I would love your suggestions. If there's a particular type of artwork you'd like to see for the butterflies, let me know. Let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next video.